on my way to uh, meet Dale, Ranger Dale. We're gonna head up to the Tushers today, up by Beaver. And uh, there's a bunch of new caches. So hopefully we'll get some first to find stuff today. Uh, me and Dale go way back. Um, um, way, way back. And we've done a lot of crazy stuff together. And uh, anyway, should be a fun day. Well, we ready to do this thing? Hmm? We ready to do this thing? Sure. <laughs> okay, let me grab my, st my stuff back together. You know, this is a terrible hobby where you have to have a, your special, uh, <laughs> you know, your own, your own special mobile. To <laughs> I, it's true. And if you drive with me, you have to listen to my crappy music. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, I think that's the rule, isn't it? Just getting drinks kind of the important part of it. That's, that's very key. That's a very vital, that's a very vital aspect to the whole thing. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I actually have brought in a Maverick now too. <laughs> that makes it that makes it harder harder to identify that it's a refill. I know. A Maverick cup. Bring in a fabulous Freddy's cup. Could have got it here. I need somebody help, not just anybody help. You know I need someone help. When I was young, was so much younger than today. I never needed any. Not just anybody. I almost forgot my GPS. Hell, yeah, well, I got my phone. Yeah, I. I, I haven't I turned my GPS totally. on in two years, really. Or more. Well, I went and found a cache the other day. Did you? Did we get back into practice, huh? Just so I could say I found one. <laughs> Hell, the thing is, I found it. Oh, what's that? <laughs> or, uh, the Jeep's got a little bit of cache fever. This Jeep's never been out on a. on a cash and adventure. I hunted for this for several months. So they they weren't found as of last night. They weren't well I think about last night, but they weren't found as of late Thursday night. So I say that's like catnip to a catnip to a cashier. <laughs> cash cash nip. Cash nip, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Lay out a lay out a first to find. Yeah. Uh, you live, how long you live in St. George? Because it's not nearly that hot in Enterprise. My wife and I have been married 38 years. We started out in St. George. We lived in Enterprise about eight years. Oh, okay. So, so we were in St. George, went to Enterprise and back. So, so we're going on a cruise in October. And uh, I'm gonna pick up Massachusetts and, and Maine, a couple of new states. The last cruise we went on, there was a guy that was one of those presenters, you know, they hired to do the little lectures and stuff on board. Yeah. And uh, he happened to be a geocacher. Oh, and so he went in and said, well, I'm doing this, but he says, can I do it? Can I throw a, an extra one in? I wanna do a thing on geocaching. I think I think what he, what they do is they just to have st stuff for people to do, yeah. and the, and the guy's kind of interesting. So on the boat, but on the on the ship, he, he the was do, he was doing a, astronomy lectures and space exploration and planets, and, and so he did a geocaching thing, and you know of course geocaching got to go figure out what this got. We'll see what this guy knows. <laughs> Put him, put him to the test. Yeah, go, yeah. go see what. Well, I'll go see what this guy knows. Yeah, I'll talk on geocaching. Nobody, nobody's gonna know anything it's, about it's that. It's kind of like <laughs> it's it's kind of like George Bailey and It's a Wonderful Life in the beginning. You know, in the beginning when he's when he's grown up. Yeah. He's, he's just yeah. I thought I'd go to go to college for a couple of years and see what they know. Yeah. So that's funny. So we'll go we'll go to this guy's lecture on geocaching and see what he knows. That's funny. XM radio. Yeah. Is 
about to say, it's just like, you got all, be all Beatles, which is fine. It's uh, Beatles Channel 18. Well, they play everything Beatles on here, and they play anything Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, or John Lennon really? sings. Wings? Yeah, plus anything that any artist covered of a Beatles song. Really? Oh, uh, So, it's, and then they've got little talk shows, and, uh, it's, it's, I've had it on this channel, and I'll bet you that if you got in my wife's car, this channel's on in her car. She was just 17. West Virginia yeah, was amazing. That was. And the, the, when, when, when I got there with my wife, because we got on, we were in staff, it was yeah. a whole different experience. And we, we got up on, just kind of walking around, got up on that trail. I saw that sign and it was on that road we'd headed on out of Kent. That's funny. I thought, <laughs> yeah. I thought Jim, look, in our honor. Yeah, we, we we're we, probably the only two knotheads that tried escaping from there. I, I, I'm surprised they didn't actually put our names in, you know, in memory of the two idiots that tried that snu tried to sneak off repeatedly, not well, just once, but we repeatedly. We did that. We did that twice. Yeah. And got a couple sodas at that store. Yeah. There's some there's some neat stuff in West Virginia. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah. when you <laughs> you know when you started out on the tooling banjos. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get when we get that store in Glen Jean, and there's that kid. There's a kid sitting in the corner that was, I mean, he was so inbred. I was just like, I mean, it gave me the creeps. I, I mean, and then that whole thing, the deliverance is going through my head the whole time. We're we're sneaking up that four wheeler trail to that old cemetery, and I'm like, it was kind of, it was kind of freaky. Oh, that's Appalachia. Yeah, it is. Oh man, yeah, that was. Well, you know why? This is the first opportunity I really had 
to show, put this show off put, its skills, to huh? put this vehicle in four wheel drive. Yeah. And uh, now, now I know that it works. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, took. to me, one of the best things about geocaching is having a Jeep, and I don't know why, but Jeeps are fun. Yeah, they are fun. I guess geocaching is just an excuse to use your Jeep. Yeah. What? How long you been geocaching? Since about. 2000. Oh, I don't know. 2003? Something like 2003. So 15 years. Yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff can change in 15 years. Well, you know, and I'm, uh, and I, you know, I, I used to look at the guys that were cashing before I did, and they had two or three hundred caches, and they kind of quit, and then I got doing it. You know, I went really strong for a lot of years, and, uh, you know, it just got to where it got difficult to go for a little bit. Well, this is a good place to stop then, huh? Yeah, I think this oh, well, yeah, man, that thing carries on, doesn't it? Oh, there it is, right at your feet. It's a big flat rock right in front of you. Yeah? And there's an ammo can right underneath it. Oh! The other rock. The other flat rock? Yeah. Oh! You alright? Yeah, that could have been disastrous, because you know what? Oh, these are kind of loose. Somebody's brave putting in a big ammo can like that. Yeah. Well, the moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be stunned if anybody got up here. Silver bullet placed August 4th, 2018. Yeah, there you first, go. The first to find empty. Nice. <laughs> well, I was expecting a I was well, expecting a hike right there. If that was the hard one. Basers. Well hey, if this was the hard one, this is gonna be a fun day. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised. We haven't even had to break a sweat yet. In fact, my Fitbit probably says <laughs> says twenty thousand steps because of the bumps. <laughs> That's the only thing I hate about the Fitbit. But uh, this isn't quite this one. Well, got the cash fever out of the Jeep now. It's, yeah, it's it's been out and found one. Yeah. Occasionally I find a cache, uh -huh. but uh, mostly it's vacation. Oh. I'm on vacation. Oh, we're going, we're going to Boston. I gotta get a cache in Massachusetts. Yeah. We're going to Portland, Maine, and Bar Harbor, huh. and then Prince Edward Island. Hopefully, there's some color. No, it just shows it as a it shows it as a river. It depends. Oh, rock! Look out! Look out! Look out! Woo! And the rock's not what got me going down. Holy crap. I uh, started sliding. <laughs> Yike. Yike what? That, was a, that, that rock got moving, man. <laughs>
Oh, look out, look out, look out. Ooh, that's a little one. I pegged that little fawn. Usually, usually the little ones follow the big ones. Yeah. He took off on his own. Yeah. That's all I needed to do is come up here and have a repair bell on plunk that. Plunk a deer. Yeah. They didn't call it a geocache back then. Yeah. You know, one of the one of the great movies looking for treasure is Fandango. Oh. You've seen that. Yeah. Kevin Costner. Where they're looking for Dom. For Dom. Yeah. They went down to the Mexican border. Yeah. That is kind of a geocaching movie, isn't it? That's, if you think about it. I was alone. I took a ride. I didn't know what I would Oh, there find. you go. Dang, man. He, he went all out with these yeah. ammo cans. Oh, this, one, this one's not stuck quite as well. It's got sunglasses. <laughs> Grab us a couple pair of those. I'm so, I'm so what is it? My future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs> So if we go behind loop 14, if they had accurate coordinates. Uh, it's only gonna, when we find this, it's only gonna be the first 10 minutes. Out. Well, that was four, so this next one's five. Then yeah, we, then we just got one more, and the last one, we gotta go back down into Beaver, into the valley, up by Manderfield. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, so we're headed back down after this. So. Oh, if, we, okay. if we ever get out of here. If we ever get out of here. <laughs> painted with kids and smiley faces and a beaver. <laughs> Perfect. Just that tree right over there. Yeah. I suppose there's a pen in it. Uh, maybe. I don't have one. They're both washed out. You think somebody hightailed it out in the middle of the night? In a rainstorm? Probably. I mean, the one is flattened and the other one is half buried. Yeah. That's weird. But this, yeah, this kind of got, got a little bit of a deluge. This is, I think this has gone bye-bye. It was just sitting right underneath that tree, but this is, this is all washed out. Yeah, it would have floated. Unless it, unless it somehow got hung up on something. 
I wonder if someone was camped up here and the flood flood came in and they Yeah, this one tent it just got flattened. I mean, they didn't take the tent down, but at least they looks looks like they at least got all the crap you know, out of it. This one, I can't this even. Is, is this got some stuff in it? This, this, I wonder if they even got they even got their crap out of there. I used to have a file. I had one for Mesquite and one for Cedar, one for St. Yeah, George, one yeah. for Canab. And I would set up my desk and I and I would just start printing cash pages so that I had all the documentation with me. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> then you could put it all yeah. in the Palm Pilot and then and then it went to the phone. Yeah. And the way it is on the phone, that's the best way. Uh, well, it's noonish. We get a sandwich or something, yeah. and we go get sandwich, that cash and head back. Cash, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna get oh, back yeah. by three thirty or four at yeah, the latest, if even that, probably three. Yeah, we're in good shape. We're in real good shape. So it's back over this way. Yeah. So we'll go up here. We'll hit a T, and we'll just take a left. This supposedly. <laughs> Day in the life, you know. Now we know how many holes it takes to fill the hill. We're got point, a, we're point one seven. Got out of bed so and dragged the comb across, across my head. Monkey's hangout. Well, that's about right. It's a monkey's hangout, all right. Nope. Oh, really? Carl's, that's on the, that's just on the north end. Let's go over to Carl's Jr. I, Carl's, I think Carl's that's perfect. got a better hamburger. Oh yeah, they got a good, I love Carl's Jr. They're, they are mad scientists, man. Any, any, any place that's going to put ribs on a burger, <laughs> they are mad scientists. It'll be a long time you know, before they, they figure used out to, how to pack more they, meat into they, a burger. They've kind of me mellowed down, but they have these Hot, juicy runoff, you know, and they, yeah. they found the biggest breasted Playboy model they could find. And, <laughs> yeah. You know, I feel like your burger's wet. <laughs> I know. You know, dripping off her boobs and stuff. Yeah, you, know? you get done watching that commercial, and the first thing you think is, I want a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> that or I want a, I want a bath. <laughs> I know, that's funny. Yeah, that is funny. I love this song. This is... Well, there's a lot more of that house down from when we went by it before. Yeah. yeah, there's a possibility of that. It's, it's made of guys just like me. <laughs> I meant to, I meant to say I meant to tell her no tomatoes, but I space that. Well, there's a 
big belt right there. We didn't miss anything. Oh. <laughs> want some fries? You want a taste of fry? I will. I'll get back. I just, I just noticed the shirt you're wearing. Is that? To, so yeah. Is this I, Harvard Dental School? No, this is when I was. <laughs> so that you know, I went up to Massachusetts. We went up to. Uh, I have. I tell people, I tell people, yeah, I got this because I did a lecture. I did a lecture at Harvard. But the truth is, I went into an empty room and just said something. <laughs> something profound. So that counts. Geocaching is my life. I spoke at Harvard. I went into an empty room and I said something, so I spoke at Harvard. <laughs> I'll follow the sun.